Welcome into this presentation of Bourne Braves baseball. The Braves tonight drop a game against the Hyannis Harbor Hawks, 6-4, alongside Blaine McCormick and Alexander Moore. I'm your host, Rob Warner, for some Tomahawk Talk. Blaine, Trey Vanderwey started the game tonight for the Braves. Five no-hit innings, and then the sixth inning got roughed up a bit. What did you see out of the out of the left-hander tonight? I thought he was very impressive for his first start here in Cape Cod, and we saw him mostly out of the bullpen, and, you know, the southpaw really was impressive today. Like you said, five innings pitched, and... He was really just locating very well. I think that was the biggest thing for him, just locating his pitches. We saw not too many strikeouts on the ledger, but it didn't seem to matter for him. As he was just inducing the ground outs, the pop outs, to really put the Braves ahead of the Harbor Hawks at that time. You mentioned the inning that he got roughed up a little bit, and you know what, that's okay. When you're out of the bullpen, it's kind of tough to be having that stamina as a starter, but I thought he was very impressive with his stamina, and you know, good start for him. I wonder if they'll use him more. So Trey Vanderweide, very good, very good first start of the year. Also, the offense was clicking early on, four nothing going into that sixth inning. What do you think kind of happened after the early offense? And it's just like I don't know, the bats died, and their pitching staffs just got into a groove and just started getting us ground ball outs left and right. We had a couple of chances to score and get the leads back. Seventh inning, runners on first and third. Spencer Brickhouse up to bat, and he checks swing, and it happened to go fair. That's just a tough break in baseball. I mean. He didn't want to go around on it, tried to pull it back, and it just happened to hit the barrel of the bat and go to third base. That's a tough one. I mean, after the fifth, it seems like the bats just kind of died, and they'll just have to keep that in mind next time going out there. They had another chance in the eighth inning with, you know, uh, Lyle Lynn led off the inning with a double. Then he had a single from Horowitz, and then Ashton Barzell walked, and he had the bases loaded for Tyler Fitzgerald up to bat, someone you'd really want in that position, but he couldn't deliver it as he flew out to the center fielder, and now that's two uncharacteristic games from Tyler Fitzgerald after he had such a hot streak in that leadoff position. So they'll have to just, you know, relax and let this one get out of their mind. The Braves were up 4-0 to zero in this game. How much of this goes on the bullpen, Blaine? I think it has to be a little bit on the bullpen, but it also has to be kind of on the bats as well. You mentioned all the runners left in scoring position, Alex, but for the bullpen, the pride and joy of this Bourne Braves pitching staff has kind of been an issue for them as of lately. And a couple of uncharacteristic outings from Nick Morielli, he gave up a double that ended up being the game-winning runs for the Harbor Hawks. And for Mike Ruff, he's been pretty consistent out of the bullpen, just a non an uncharacteristic outing for him too. So I think it's going to be good for this day off tomorrow on the 4th of July for the Braves just to calm down a little bit. It's not the end of the world. We're almost halfway through, and the Braves were coming into this game in third place during the Western Divisions. But this is only the second loss that they've had against Western Division opponents. And, and Blaine just mentioned that day off. How nice do you think it's going to be for this Braves team that hasn't had one scheduled day off yet to get in and get a day to relax and celebrate the 4th of July a little bit? Exactly. Blaine just said it right there. It's going to be a nice little day for everyone to relax and just unwind after two tough losses from Orleans and now here. I mean, they had a win against Wareham the night before, but, I mean, just take it and relax and just, you know, calm down. Everyone have a nice day off. We're going to have a nice day off too. We need it as well, but everyone around the league from – Nicole Norkovich, just the president, to Coach Harvey Shapiro. Everyone's going to need that much-needed day off. So the Braves get a day off after dropping this game to the Hyannis Harbor Hawks, 6-4. to four. The Braves then are back at Doran Park on Thursday against the Wareham Gateman. Alongside Alexander Moore and Blaine McCormick, I'm your host, Rob Warner. We hope to see you then.